Hi, my name is Lacey Cowan. I'm from the University 101 class, Section 42. Today, I'll be talking to you about what affects the application of the death penalty, such as gender, the economy, and race. Let's first start off with gender. Who's discriminated against? Men are. It's been proven that women who murder men usually get a lesser punishment. Also, women are 50 times less likely to get a homicide conviction than men. Other research does not indicate any evidence where women are discrimina discriminated against. This might be because society today has an image of women as caregivers and nurturing by nature. We bring life into this world. We don't take it away. Also, the economy plays a huge role in the application of the death penalty. When there are areas of a higher racial poverty, there's also higher crime rates. The higher the crime rate there is, the more likelihood that the death penalty will in fact be legalized and applied in those areas. These areas are usually full of people who are part of the racial underclass. In order to understand how poverty and race plays a part, we must first look at the demographics. African Americans are three times more likely to be poor than, than whites. When there is more of a social underclass, there is more of rape. There is more crime. Also, African Americans are more likely to serve prison time with longer sentences and less likely to get probation. Poor people, who usually are minorities, are appointed lawyers by the state because they cannot afford one themselves. The appointed lawyers who are defending them might be racist towards, the, towards their clients such as in court using the word Negro. The appointed lawyers who get paid by salary, they do not invest their time, energy in any of the cases, or in the case, many of the cases that they work on. Many times, they are new lawyers and are unqualified who don't have enough experience in the field. As a result, the defendants who they are representing get sentenced to a harsher punishment such as the death penalty. Racial discrimination is also a big factor when it comes to applying the death penalty. You will find that if, if the victim is white, there is an 87% conviction rate of the death penalty. If the victim is African American, there is only a 22% death penalty conviction rate. So if the victim is white, in a case in Georgia, the defendant is 11 times more likely to get the death penalty. This just shows that society values white people more than African Americans, which is wrong. Another way African American defendants are discriminated against in the courts is where attorneys push for juries to be all white in many cases involving African American defendants on the stand. Research shows that the U.S. Government Accountability Office, GAO, found training videos that revealed that district attorneys played these videos to teach prosecutors how to improper, improperly keep African Americans off jury stands. This can lead to jury's point of views being narrow and not seeing the whole picture. For example, if a poor African American defendant is on the stand and the whole jury is white and they all make over 100 grand a year, they might think, oh, well, this young man was grew up in a lower class society. He probably lived off welfare. He deserves to go to jail. Another, another way we know that there's problems in the justice system and discrimination against these people is because organizations that organizations have been made that shows that people who are on death row are wrongly accused, such as the organization that was made called the Innocence Project. They have re revealed that 102 death row inmates were wrongly convicted and sentenced to death row and since then have been exonerated and released from prison. Also, research done by Columbia University reveals that Two out of every three death penalty convictions are overturned on appeal because of 
serious errors done by appointed lawyers, which just proves that the economy does play a factor. And also, we know that overzealous police and prosecutors who withheld information also have a factor. This just shows that the justice system is not flawless, that something needs to be done. We might let appointed lawyers choose the cases that they want to represent. Another way that we might do this is by having more appointed lawyers who are overlooked by experienced lawyers. Also, not paying the appointed lawyer's salary might be another way. Hopefully, if we do this though, or if something else is done, this can change the discrimination issue inside the application of the death penalty, giving defendants equal representation in the courtroom, which they deserve. And thank you for listening. My name is Lacey.